I'm making a video based on um, Barb's video where she's asked others to just make a short little video about what the Lord has been showing some of us out here. And this is my first video. Um, I just want to share real quickly my testimony. I was baptized at the age of nine by water and um, baptized in the Holy Spirit at the age of 39. And um, the Lord has shown me several dreams and I've had a vision or two. And I just want to share some of those things to encourage those of you out there that are feeling that train coming like the rest of us. Um, right after being baptized by the Holy Spirit, I was receiving dreams and things of, that were coming and I, I wasn't sure what to make of all of it. So as I began to look at the world around us and see the things that were happening in the world, I became fearful and I came out here on this deck family and would protect us and he showed me a vision and it was right over there off the horizon in the south and um, I saw three black lines come up from the horizon and as I looked at them I couldn't make out where they were coming from or what was causing these black lines to form and I counted them over and over one two three and I wasn't sure what I was looking at so I closed my eyes and bowed my head and I just said Lord if this is you responding to my prayer, show me what I'm looking at. And when I looked back up, there were four rays of light shining down around those three pillars of darkness. And um, I don't know what the source of the light was. It wasn't the moon, the sun had already set. Um, the moon was nowhere to be seen. And um, I couldn't make sense of what I was looking at, but it, it was clear, it was from the Lord. I could feel the Holy Spirit all over me. And I asked him again, what am I looking at? And I heard his voice in my spirit. It's the first time I've heard him. I wouldn't say audibly, but I could hear him in my chest um, and inside my head. So. Um, but what I heard him say was, you can choose to focus on the darkness or you can focus on my light. And then very emphatically, he said, focus on my light. So I just, I just praised the Lord for that. I, it told me he heard me. He knew what I was going through. And then also we need to shift our focus and we need to keep our eyes on Jesus and all that we see coming. We all can feel that the time is near. Um, the way that I've been able to feel it, the way I describe it to others since my baptism by the Holy Spirit is that you can feel train tracks and the vibration of them and know that a train is coming. You don't know where the train is or how far off it is, but you can feel that vibration. And as the train gets closer, the vibration gets stronger and stronger. And um, at one point, I became fearful of the train. Like I felt like I needed to keep my eyes on when that train would round the bend so I'd know when to brace. And again, I heard the Lord speak. And he said, why are you afraid of the train? I am the conductor. He knows his children. He knows those that are watching for him. And he knows that we can feel that we're in that season. And I just want to encourage anyone out there that watches this, that he knows each of our names. He knows each of our hearts. And he will protect us. He will keep his eyes on us and our families. We know that his coming is soon. And uh, many of you have had dreams and visions of that very thing. I believe we're right at the door. So do not take your eyes off of Jesus, no matter what the waves are doing around you. Keep your eyes on him. God bless all of you.